Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, we've got a lot going on. We've got a deep, dark lip that is appropriate for daytime, super wearable, very easy. Um, I was inspired by Patrick Ta. I love his makeup looks and he always does like this deep, dark lip with just flawless glowing skin so I will insert some inspo pics but I just love his work so I was inspired by that and a lot of you guys asked me how to wear a dark lip without being like too much how to wear it like during the daytime or how to wear it without being too dramatic and bold so I think this is perfect also but wait there's more we're doing a hair tutorial because you guys always ask how I get my curls so we have all that in one video so without further ado we're gonna get started Okay, so I'm going to start with my skin today because when I do my regular everyday routine, I always start with my face. That's just pretty much what I do. So I'm going to be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale and I have really been liking it. It is super expensive, obviously, but... I do like it. I don't feel like it changed my life, but I like it. So um, I'm going to continue to use it because you know i do like it don't put it on your lips i don't know what just happened there but i do like this because i feel like it helps with pores and makes your makeup last longer but i don't feel like it is like overly drying and then i'm also taking my bobby brown priming spray i just like to kind of just mist my face before i go in with foundation so this is the Primer Plus Hydrating 3-in-1 Spray. So then I'm going to go in with this new foundation. I've been using this for like the past week. And I picked this up after I watched Casey Holmes' video saying that I needed to buy this. So I felt compelled to buy this. And so this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. So I don't think I've ever really tried anything from that brand ever. So I was really going out on a limb with trying this. So I really do like it. It is full coverage and it is very matte. So that's like different than what I typically gravitate towards. But I think I'm going to like this during the fall. I think for fall and winter, I don't know. I feel like matte skin is in even though we're gonna make our skin look glowy, but anyways, <laughs> enough about that. So I'm just gonna take a few little stripes. And it has like this big giant doe foot applicator, which is different. I'm actually using a different foundation brush. I know, what is wrong with you? I am washing my favorite Tarte foundation brush. I'm actually using this full coverage complexion brush from It Cosmetics, and I actually really do like this. And so I'm just gonna blend this out. And as you can see, it's very full coverage, very matte, but it doesn't feel thick or heavy on my skin, so I really have been liking it. I feel like this headband is not working to keep the hair out of my face. What is that? What is that? What is up? <laughs> So next I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I'm using Golden Beige and I have been talking about this in a lot of videos recently and I just really like it. So so this look is mainly about the skin and the lip. So we're keeping it pretty basic on the eyes, which you will see. But I feel like that's kind of like what you want to do when you're doing a bold lip. You definitely want to just keep the eyes like a little bit less dramatic so you don't look like too much for daytime. So just gonna blend that in. Then I'm gonna go in and mainly set my under eye with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I feel like I just always go back to this powder because I just like it, so. You definitely want to set your eyes before we do shadow. 
and then I'm just gonna take a little bit and dust the rest of the face. That foundation dries down pretty well, but you definitely wanna set it so when you go to do the rest of your face, it doesn't stick. As we're letting the face kind of just like soak in, I'm gonna move on to the eyes and then we will come back. I'm gonna keep it super simple. You really don't need to use any specific palette. So any neutral palette will do. I'm gonna use this drugstore one because I figure, hey, why not? So you could use like the Soft Glam palette. You could use like the Tarlet and Bloom. Like anything with neutral colors is gonna work. So I'm gonna actually just use this. I'm just gonna take this color in the middle and we're going to put that just all into the crease and pretty much all over the lid as well. And I actually really do like this palette. I've used it a few times. Then just take that same color, bring it underneath. I feel like it's very important to put something on the lower lash line. I feel like it just completes the look and also it's going to prevent your mascara from smudging because you're gonna have that powder right like on that lash line so if you ever have trouble with your mascara like smudging or running make sure to apply like even just like a nude powder right underneath there like as close as you can get because that's really gonna help then I'm just gonna go in with this kind of like a light champagne goldy shade and we're gonna put that all over the lid Then just run your blending brush through the crease just to buff out the edges. Then to deepen up the lash line, I'm just gonna take the darkest brown color in there and I'm just gonna put that at the very base of my lashes just to make my lashes look thicker. And you don't have to do this, but um, it just makes your lashes look a little bit thicker, so. And I'm just using an angled brush and if you want you can just drag the outer corner out to create a little bit of a wing again you don't have to do that but I just kind of like the shape that it gives my eye so I just kind of just take whatever's left on the brush and just like wing it up then I'm gonna go in with mascara and I've really been loving this mascara there's so many sponsored posts using this and I'm here to tell you that it is really that good as people are telling you that it is. I'm not being paid to say this, um, but I do really, really love this mascara. So this is the NARS Climax Mascara. So it just looks like this. I have been using it nonstop. Now moving on to the face, I'm going to warm it up with some bronzer. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. So I'm just going to be using this, oh geez, I forgot to tap my brush off. Um, but I'm just going to be using this to add some warmth. I'm also going to use that slightly to contour my nose. And I'm not going to do like a full on contour because I feel like when you do a dark lip in like a really bold contour, that's like when it goes to being like a little bit too much. So just make the skin and the face look a little bit softer and not so chiseled, especially for daytime. I feel like that could just be like a little bit over the top. Then for blush, I'm going to be going in with an old favorite. I've had this for so long and it's probably expired, but I don't even care because it still works. And I just love it. This is Max Warm Soul Blush. It is just like the perfect color um, and I just love it for every day. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add a little bit to my cheeks. And I like the color that it gives and it also has a little bit of shimmer. So since that foundation was so matte, we're just adding a little bit of glow back into the skin. 
And then for my highlight, I'm just going to go in with my tried and true Maybelline Master Chrome Molten Gold. I just love this and when I don't know what highlight to use, I just use this one. So I'm just going to add some to the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit to the nose. And I'm also just going to pop this on the inner corner because that's just how I do. But no, we're still going with the skin. But I just love glowy skin, so I'm not stopping. Can't stop, won't stop. So I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I've talked about this before. I really love it. It just adds a really nice glow to your skin without being, like, shimmery. I feel like it does give a similar effect to the Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Powder, which I do like, but this is so freaking messy. I feel like it just goes everywhere. It's kind of hard to control where it's going. So I just prefer these. I use the shade number three, but they have um, more colors, but it doesn't really add much color at all. It just kind of adds like a sheer finishing wash. So just take it on a big, um, fluffy brush and this kind of just like is gonna make everything seamless and um, have a nice glow so put it wherever you want to like blend and add a little bit of glow we're gonna move on to the dark lip this is a color that I really really love this is from Colourpop really affordable this is their ultra matte lip in the color pearl next door because I mean this definitely looks like a pearl Another one that is a very similar color that I love, but is more expensive is this one from Smashbox. This is their Always On Liquid Lipstick in Misconduct. So they're very similar. Um, I feel like the formulas are a little bit similar too. This one I feel like is a little bit more comfortable to wear, but I'm just gonna use this one today because I don't know, it's more affordable. So apply a lip liner first, any color. It doesn't have to be coordinating, just make it nude. That's just going to make it easier to apply a liquid lip. Because if I don't, next thing I know, my upper lip is like right underneath my nose and I look crazy. This is from Makeup Forever. It's called number 22. Oops, sorry. You couldn't see that. <laughs> Then um, we're gonna finish it off with some setting spray. I'm just gonna use um, my priming three-in-one setting spray once again. So we're just gonna lock that down, get rid of the powderiness. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our hair because you guys always ask me for a hair tutorial. All right, so brush your hair, um, section it off. I just take the top part put her in a ponytail or a bun, man bun on the top of my head. I don't ever use a heat protectant, sue me. Then I'm gonna take this curling iron. This is the T3 Whirl curling iron. This is the barrel that I like to use. I think this is a one inch barrel. I love this curling iron. Basically what you see me do with my hair is this. I curl it with this one day and then I don't curl it again until I wash my hair next. So if you see me with different hairstyles, it's not that I'm doing a different hairstyle, it's just the day after I curl it, it's less of a curl. The day after that, it's less of a curl. The day after that, it just looks like I had like a blowout done. So I don't ever like do anything different. So I just take a strand of hair like this and I wrap it around the barrel. I like this barrel. It's long enough for my long hair. And I just hold it for a few seconds, nothing crazy again. I let it go, go like this, ba ba ba, ba ba ba, and that's it. That's literally all I do. So I'm just gonna do that a bunch of times. There is no special method. I don't alternate directions. I just go like this until I can't do it anymore. And yeah. And what I will say is I don't really like to curl the end. I usually leave like the last inch or so out just because I don't really like that look. But yeah, you just go like this. Right around the barrel, that's it. 
and this barrel gets really hot and it just holds my curls really well. I don't have to sit there and hold my hair around the barrel forever. Like you're just seeing this in real time. Like it just, it just does it. If you ever feel like it's too tight, just yank on it. Yank down the top layer and you know, we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna get crazy. We're just gonna do it the exact same way. <laughs> Nothing crazy will ever occur because I just don't, I just don't really care about hair. I just always wear it the same way. Once it's cool, just kind of run your fingers through it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really use hairspray if I use anything. I use a texture spray. And this one I really like. This is the Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun Texture Spray. It adds a little bit of hold and a little bit of texture or like grip because my hair is very like fine and soft and it doesn't really like want to do anything. It's usually pretty flat. So I'll just spray this because it feels really lightweight. It doesn't even feel like you have like a lot of product. So I just kind of just take a little bit. And it just adds a little bit of, oh. But yeah, that's literally it. And then this just gets less curly over time. This is what the ends look like. I don't have a bra don't judge me. So here is the final look. I typically just flip my hair around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what fall videos you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is like a hot fight and it just burns somebody. Is it gonna be you? Is it gonna be me? I don't know. Now that I'm a grown up, um, you know, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in Santa Claus and I don't believe in heat protectant sprays. If you feel like it's magical and, you know, exciting and amazing, but it's all fake, it's a scam. You still get split ends, you still damage your hair. If you want me to spray something on my 